is a little video on how uh, super trap style mufflers work. Now, super traps, all right, you know, in order to talk about flow master, right, you have to mention super traps. Um, now, they're more commonly used in things like, uh, you know, bikes, quads, vehicles where there's a lot of area, all right, to fit a muffler. Not a lot of overhang, not a lot of parts that are going to get really, really hot. Because one of the principles of a super trap muffler is that exhaust direction is directed around 360 degrees of the, the assembly of the muffler. So exhaust is literally going out like this, going out like this, all around. And uh, the way it works is that you put a little assembly on the tailpipe and you have an end cap. And depending on how loud or quiet you want your exhaust, you can add more rings. The more rings, the quieter the exhaust tends to be and the less rings, the louder it tends to be. These are kind of like dotted lines I did to illustrate the kind of direction of the exhaust flow. Most air wants to keep on traveling in a straight direction. So it goes like this and it hits the end cap and it has nowhere to go. So it just simply kind of goes back and that cancels out a lot of sound waves. But as it goes back, it escapes out all right, through these um, plates. And what happens is as it's trying to escape through the plates, obviously you can imagine a lot of sound waves are smashed up around these plates. And the fact of the matter is that these plates are not like massively separated apart. They're relatively close, so they act like a lot of baffles. Sometimes, you know, you have a little cap here to help collect sound waves, and you have the brackets to uh, hold the assembly onto the back of the tailpipe. Now, uh, super traps are unique. Uh, there's really no other exhaust kind of like them. All right, because they're not really a muffler. It's almost like a, an assembly to put onto your exhaust system. All right, but they're pretty interesting, and I thought I should share them.